Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, what we're going to talk about uh, in this video is PDQ deploy and T PDQ inventory. Now, uh, I want to put this up front. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. PDQ deploy, uh, PDQ has no idea that I'm doing this video. Um, I use this software um, firsthand and um, every day I've been learning a little bit more about it and the power of the software. And so I, it takes quite a bit for a piece of technology to like get me excited. Um, and this piece of software, uh, this software suite actually has me really excited. So if you've been around the channel uh, for a while or you've worked with me, you'll know that uh, I'm a self-proclaimed Active Directory junkie. Um, from login scripts to software installation to populating address books on voice over IP phones, I love to leverage Active Directory to make these tasks and projects easier and more efficient. And yes, you'll notice I am reading. I did take uh, a bunch of notes uh, over the last few days because I want to make sure I hit a lot of the high points here. So um, I like to use, um, I like Active Directory. Um, and, and we try to do as much automating um, and managing of computers as possible through Active Directory from, you know, locking an inactive screen after 15 minutes to mapping drives targeted at certain user groups. Um, and, and we really just, um, you know, scratched the surface of the power of, of Active Directory and group policy. Um, at large companies, it's not uncommon for Microsoft to have somebody kind of staff there when they're really leveraging it and really using it in its, you know, large deployments. So um, last week I was working on a problem of deploying a registry key and it was for a particular piece of software and I tried everything. I tried the group policy uh, registry update. I tried using a batch file, a power, a PowerShell um, deployment. I could not get this registry key and and we often do this but the way that this registry key had to be deployed it, I, I, I was it wasn't working right and I kept seeing some software come up um, on all the places that I search you know they were like just use PDQ deploy right so it came up over and over and I had heard of it and at one point I had looked at it um, and I was just like oh yeah we can do all that through Active Directory right and um, but I was like, you know what, at this point you get a 14 day free trial. If it works, that's great. Um, if it doesn't, then we're not really out much. So I headed over to the, uh, PDQ deploy website, which you can see here. And I did a try now, uh, which gives you that 14 day, uh, enterprise, um, trial. And so I got... Uh, PDQ deploy and PDQ inventory because inventory will go out and it will inventory all of your windows endpoints for you in active directory, or um, you'll see there's a couple other, you know, ways you can handle that. Um, I installed PDQ deploy on my workstation. Um, and in literally in just a few minutes, I was able to push the registry key and I uh, verified that it worked. And that was a real light bulb moment for me. Um, you know, and after that, I went ahead and installed PDQ inventory. The tie-ins between the two pieces of software are absolutely, um, absolutely just beautiful. And so you can schedule a demo. You can get your 14-day free trial. You can do silent installs, deploy almost everything, execute remotely, all these things, right? So, uh, PDQ deploy can be installed on a single machine. Um, you'll hear them talk about console machines and target machines um, or, or PDQ deploy and inventory can be installed in a centralized server. And then you can have your admins um, connecting to that. Now it is uh, priced. And when you get into the price, you'll see that it is priced per admin. So basically you can have unlimited endpoints and it's, it's priced Per admin. But let's talk a little bit about the uh, system requirements. So a console machine can be Windows 11, Windows 10, 
uh, Windows 8, Server 2012 or higher with Microsoft.NET Framework 4.6.2 or higher. The system will run with 4 gigs of memory, but they recommend 8. Um, it's also not recommended to install the software on a domain controller or a Microsoft Exchange server. Non-supported operating systems are Windows 10 releases no longer supported by Microsoft, Windows 7, Windows Server 2008 or lower, Windows Vista, Windows XP, and Windows Home Editions. Uh, target machine requirements, that's, that's the machines you're performing the operation on, um, are Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, Server 2012 or higher, and then they have to have .NET Framework 4.6.2 or higher, and that can actually be uh, remotely installed using PDQ, uh, PDQ Deploy. Um, you got to have one gig of RAM with two gigs recommended, um, and PowerShell 3 Plus is also recommended. Uh, Windows 7, Windows Server 2008 or lower, Windows Vista, XP, and Home Editions are not supported as targets. Um, once installed, PDQ Deploy comes with hundreds, it actually comes with over 200 pre-built packages for pushing software, uh, updating Windows and things like that. Um, a PDQ Deploy package is what does all of the heavy lifting. It has all of the steps inside of it to deploy a piece of software or run a script. Um, and uh, you can also push, like I said, registry files, run PowerShell scripts, and much, much more. And that's all done on remote workstations. You can create your own custom packages, which is what I had to do for my specific registry file. Like I said, the packages uh, contain steps, and you define what happens in those steps and who those steps get run as. You know, does it get run as a local system user, a domain admin? Um, packages can be a single step, and I actually don't know how many steps the upper end of the limit is, but I think it's probably pretty high. To get your computers into PDQ Deploy, you can direct uh, import directly from Active Directory. Might be a good time to look at those machine names and clean them up, huh? Uh, you can also import from Spiceworks PDQ Inventory, which I suggest if you're going to get PDQ Deploy, go ahead and get PDQ Inventory just because the integrations are so tight. Um, you can do C CSV files or create a manual list of machines. Once you have your machine, machine selected, you can do uh, one-time package installs or you can create schedules. Schedules are based off time or heartbeat. So if you do a heartbeat, once a machine comes online uh, and the server detects that, it will go ahead and push that package to the workstation. You can also um, install or uninstall uh, software on a single machine or large amounts of machines at one time. Uh, with the power of PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory managing your Windows clients, um, it becomes really easy. I really do wish that I would have checked this out much sooner. And you're probably asking about price, and it is not free. And for the, the value that this brings, I wouldn't expect it to be. Uh, you can manage, like I said, an unlimited number of endpoints with PDQ, PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory, and the licensing is set up per admin. Your pricing will likely vary as they offer several types of discounts um, and then based on the amount of admins that you have. So uh, an investment into tools like this, and you've heard me say it before, you know, tools that make you better are worth, worth everything. Um, but an investment into tools that make you more efficient, more organized, and more secure is an investment worth its weight in gold. Um, after you check out PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory, PDQ does have a couple of other interesting products that I still need to check out. They have a simple MDM, which they bill as a ridiculously simple Apple device management. I mean, it complements their Windows-based solutions. And they also have Smart Deploy, which is meant for creating, maintaining, and deploying Windows images to your workstation. So you're supposed to be able to deliver images, software scripts, and drivers to devices, whether they are remote or on-site. And you're supposed to be able to deploy if configured um, accordingly without a VPN uh, connection back to HQ. So I am planning on doing a few videos on PDQ deploy and PDQ inventory. Is there anything specific that you want to see? So let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably just do some like generic videos about how to deploy some packages, create packages and things like that. But um, make sure you check out PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up 
If you've got questions, let me know down below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IET consulting, go to willyhow.com, click hire us or click contact us, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using our affiliate links, those are also down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.